A silo is a structure for storing bulk materials. Silos are used in agriculture to store fermented feed known as silage, not to be confused with a grain bin, which is used to store grains. Silos are commonly used for bulk storage of grain, coal, cement, carbon black, wood chips, food products and sawdust. Three types of silos are in widespread use today, tower silos, bunker silos, and bag silos. Before we continue, please help us out by hitting that subscribe button. Tower Silo Storage silos are cylindrical structures, typically 10 to 90 feet in diameter and 30 to 275 feet in height. They can be made of many materials. Wood staves, concrete staves, cast concrete, and steel panels have all been used, and have varying cost, durability, and airtightness trade-offs. Silos storing grain, cement and wood chips are typically unloaded with air slides or augers. Silos can be unloaded into rail cars, trucks or conveyors. Tower silos containing silage are usually unloaded from the top of the pile, originally by hand using a silage fork. An advantage of tower silos is that the silage tends to pack well due to its own weight, except in the top few feet. However, this may be a disadvantage for items like chopped wood. The tower silo was invented by Franklin Hiram King. In Canada, Australia and the United States, many country towns or the larger farmers in grain growing areas have groups of wooden or concrete tower silos. Known as grain elevators. To collect grain from the surrounding towns and store and protect the grain for transport by train, truck or barge to a processor or to an export port. In bumper crop times, the excess grain is stored in piles without silos or bins, causing considerable losses. Concrete Stave Silos Concrete stave silos are constructed from small precast concrete blocks with ridged grooves along each edge that lock them together into a high-strength shell. Concrete is much stronger in compression than tension, so the silo is reinforced with steel hoops encircling the tower and compressing the staves into a tight ring. The vertical stacks are held together by intermeshing of the ends of the staves by a short distance around the perimeter of each layer, and hoops which are tightened directly across the stave edges. The static pressure of the material inside the silo pressing outward on the staves increases towards the bottom of the silo. So the hoops can be spaced wide apart near the top but become progressively more closely spaced towards the bottom to prevent seams from opening and the contents leaking out. Concrete stave silos are built from common components designed for high strength and long life. They have the flexibility to have their height increased according to the needs of the farm and purchasing power of the farmer. Or to be completely disassembled and reinstalled somewhere else if no longer needed. Low Oxygen Tower Silos Low oxygen silos are designed to keep the contents in a low oxygen atmosphere at all times. To keep the fermented contents in a high quality state, and to prevent mold and decay. As may occur in the top layers of a stave silo or bunker. Low oxygen silos are only opened directly to the atmosphere during the initial forage loading, and even the unloader chute is sealed against air infiltration. It would be expensive to design such a large structure that is immune to atmospheric pressure changes over time. Instead, the silo structure is open to the atmosphere but outside air is separated from internal air by large impermeable bags sealed to the silo breather openings. In the warmth of the day when the silo is heated by the sun, the gas trapped inside the silo expands and the bags breathe out and collapse. At night the silo cools, the air inside contracts and the bags breathe in and expand again. While the iconic Blue Harvestor low oxygen silos were once very common. The speed of its unloader mechanism was not able to match the output rates of modern bunker silos, and this type of silo went into decline. Bunker silos. Bunker silos are trenches, usually with concrete walls, that are filled and packed using tractors and loaders. 
The filled trench is covered with a plastic tarp to make it airtight. These silos are usually unloaded with a tractor and loader. They are inexpensive and especially well suited to very large operations. Bag silos. Bag silos are heavy plastic tubes, usually around 8 to 12 feet in diameter, and of variable length as required for the amount of material to be stored. They are packed using a machine made for the purpose, and sealed on both ends. They are unloaded using a tractor and loader or skid steer loader. The bag is discarded in sections as it is torn off. Bag silos require little capital investment. They can be used as a temporary measure when growth or harvest conditions require more space, though some farms use them every year. Bins A bin is typically much shorter than a silo, and is typically used for holding dry matter such as cement or grain. Grain is often dried in a grain dryer before being stored in the bin. Bins may be round or square, but round bins tend to empty more easily due to a lack of corners for the stored material to become wedged and encrusted. The stored material may be powdered, as seed kernels, or as cob corn. Due to the dry nature of the stored material, it tends to be lighter than silage and can be more easily handled by underfloor grain unloaders. To facilitate drying after harvesting, some grain bins contain a hollow perforated or screened central shaft to permit easier air infiltration into the stored grain. Thank you for watching. Please help us out by hitting that subscribe button. See you next time for more videos coming soon.